So chapter two of Lockwood's uh, Book of Curves uh, is on the ellipse. And he draws the ellipse uh, using an envelope method, um, which we will look at uh, now uh, using GX Web, a free browser-based version of geometry expressions. So we start off with a circle. We'll make it centered at the origin. And um, let's give that a radius of A. And then we'll create an, a point. This is going to end up being the focus of our parabola, that parabola of our ellipse. And we will give it a distance uh, out from the center of the circle. And we'll make that E times A. So E uh, tells you, uh, is a proportion uh, if, it, if C is right in the, uh, uh, on the circumference, A would be one if it's in the middle of the zero. So it's somewhere between zero and one. Okay, so we're now very similarly to how we operated with the, how we defined the parabola. We're gonna put a point on the circle uh, coming away from C and we're gonna create the perpendicular um, to the line from uh, C to that point on the circumference of the circle. And there's the perpendicular. And let's uh, specify where point, where point D is on the circle by giving it a parametric location. So this is very similar to how we operated with a, a parabola, except the parabola, it was a straight line we're running along, not a circle. Um, of course, if you think of a straight line as a circle with infinite, infinite radius, then we're sort of getting back to uh, the same situation. So anyway, now the curve that we're going to be interested in is the envelope of that line. That's the curve that the whole family of lines is, is uh, tangential to. And we use this envelope tool and we have the parameter t as the thing that's going to vary. And so there we see as, we, as t moves around the circle, we can see that the, um, uh, the perpendicular um, to the line CD um, is tangential to this right curve, which is, um, by definition, our ellipse. Uh, we can take a look at the equation of that curve. And so there is um, uh, an equation for the curve um, as uh, um, I'll leave you to next exercise to, do, to get the constant to be one we could divide through by um, a squared times e squared, uh, one minus e squared. And then we would get x squared over a squared and y squared over one minus e squared equals one. Um, one final thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take a perpendicular from um, the other intersection of that, of the, that perpendicular, um, where it, the other intersection with the circle, and drop that down uh, to point F, and let's have a look at the coordinates of f. And we see that's um, that's symmetric. It's the it's the opposite side of a. Um, so as you would expect, uh, we could we could define the uh, in terms of the locus of um, uh, perpendiculars to from the symmetric point f. Um, to, uh, to the circle. Okay, there ends the first um, section on the ellipse. We'll go on uh, future um, uh, videos to um, look at some of the properties of this curve.